good evening everyone and good morning to india people if they are watching uh, i am madhavi makam and i am from colorado and i am a meditation coach and i have started meditation in 2011 but i am a intermittent meditator for a long time from past 5 years i have been meditating regularly and my sadhana has increased a lot i am proud and i feel blessed that i have moved to colorado 3 years back and i'll tell you why in a minute i want to tell my gratitude towards brahmarshi pitamaha patri ji who has given us the amazing platform and amazing method of anapanasati meditation it is one of the simplest meditation that we have ever or i have ever seen or experienced and my gratitude to my parents in their in the higher realms and i'm sure they're happy over there watching us all live in their realms and coming back to me being uh, blessed moving to colorado is nature wise i strongly feel that is it is one of the beautiful place to live in with the beautiful mountains and majestic mountains that we have and uh, colorado is called as switzerland of america spiritual wise i'll tell you in a nutshell when i came to colorado subhash patri sir he gave the seeds of meditation to dr g k to sow those seeds of meditation in colorado and those seeds were given to me uh through gk sir and then we had a beautiful session when he was here and then from then on he showed me where to plant them and then i took liberty to plant those seeds of meditation in colorado and i got a good manure and planted it and watered it and then nourished it and now i see the big tree in colorado with so many meditators i feel so blessed in a way and uh, we have formed a pssm colorado group and i am proud to have led the group creating a meditation hall in sai baba temple with colorado friends and with the mm-hmm. greatest blessings of sai baba just want to name a few of them who really you know gave us this uh, motivation as friends the madhi family and then the thalanki family and then the bandireddy family and uh, sridhar thumula the director of uh, sai baba temple and then and vandana sri devi and sandhya shalini vani ratnam and many more so all these friends we all together we have uh, created a place for uh, meditation hall in uh, sai baba temple we all feel blessed to have that place for our own meditation and uh, coming back to our uh, book club slash meditation it is uh, one of the unique thing that we have started in this year or i would say last november and it has been uh, very successful we have a small group of friends who are all uh, very connected we started this uh, book club in november and we finished this book in mid may and it takes like half an hour to one hour to read that book but the fact that we took so many days it tells us that how much we were involved in doing this uh, practical sessions every day the way we used to do is uh, the first 15 minutes we used to read the book and then uh, followed by meditation you know as you all know this uh, book is called uh, 21 days to master affirmations by louis hay the first day we used to read the topic you know it takes about like 10 50 10 15 minutes and the next day we used to read the affirmations of that particular topic and the third day we used to pick one affirmation from each of of this group 
and then discuss and practice that affirmation the whole day and then feel it how you how how good you feel about it and uh, do the practical application of that affirmation we took our own sweet time to finish the book because uh, rather than reading the book the practical aspect of the book is more important and that is what we all thought the priority of this book discussion was given to more satsang and the practice of the affirmations we all as a group enjoyed and practicing affirmations in and out of day to our day to day life i was hosting these sessions for colorado masters and the neighboring masters and sandhya has played an important role in being there when needed and she took classes and then she had uh, uh, motivated one of the topic was get your inner child out so we had good discussion about that and we all enjoyed it each and every med- meditator in this group has participated and make it more interactive many times because of the time constraint we had to stop our conversation and get into meditation mode because we all were in such deep discussions about the topic by doing this kind of sessions we felt very connected to each other and have become soul friends i would say so i would recommend each and every one who are psm masters to do this kind of uh, session this is all to encourage each other like how we are doing so that uh, one can learn from others i would say i would want to say some points about this book as we as you all know it's a 21 days master your affirmations by louis hay this book mainly consists of topics and challenges that we go through our day to day life it is very simple to understand and uh, simple affirmations but it is very difficult to follow those affirmations <laughs> so uh i would just uh, list out the topics that uh, uh the book that we did self esteem and then change fearful emotions critical thinking letting go of the past forgiveness health loving yourself friendship love and intimacy creativity work money and prosperity addictions aging stress free living so these are all the topics that were there in our uh, favorite book that is called 21 days to master your affirmations by louis hay some of the affirmations that i have practiced or that has uh, kind of gotten into me i would want to share those to you in self esteem okay the first and foremost is uh the affirmation is the sankalpa so it is like sankalpa shakti and if you practice those affirmations how your life can change so the first affirmation is i approve of myself and uh, under the topic self esteem my self esteem is high because i honor who i am change is the topic every change in my life can lift me to a new level of understanding fearful emotions have fun with your inner child critical thinking the more honest i am the more i am loved forgiveness it is empowering to forgive and let go health is one of the important topic because it has two days because as we all know health is wealth good health is mine now i release the past addictions i release the need to be perfect i am enough just i am loving yourself love is a miracle cure loving myself works miracles in my life friendship i respect others and they respect me love and intimacy people love me when i am myself all my relationships are harmonious creativity i know that i can create miracles in my life through spirituality my potential is unlimited money and prosperity i live in a loving abundant harmonious universe and i am very grateful so these are all the affirmations that i have practiced in these uh, 
few months and uh, how much ever the meditator i was by listening to this and by practicing this it really changed uh for me in a good better way and you know like uh, as we all know we create our own reality the way we think is the way we are so i would want everyone to do this kind of affirmations and lead your life happily so i would want uh, sandhya to go next namaste to everybody good evening and good morning this is sandhya karam sethi <clears throat> i have been in meditation i would say maybe one and a half years 15 years back i was introduced uh, with pyramid meditation with my sister la they bought pyramid and they were sitting in the pyramid and they were doing meditations but madhavi is the one who inspired me uh, i'm very i'm very grateful for her and uh, this is a great path i feel very blissful being in this path uh, three things what patrizi has been saying Uh, those are the favorite things meditation book reading yeah i love books but i don't read very often so this is the chance i'm getting to read books sadhana sangatya we all enjoy that which we are doing <clears throat> mind is the seed and life is the tree as we sow we reap in this whole creation we are just a small speck each one of us in search of good health peace knowledge prosperity harmony and overall a happy and blissful life at all given times and the situation each and every person all of us strives to achieve this so this is the one of the easiest path we can feel very blissful when we are meditating and this group energies are three times when we are doing together whether we have class it or not yes i do my meditation do i have specific time i try to if i don't i'll do whatever the time is great for me this book is very inspiring book i suggest everybody to read again and again um all the affirmations we know we all know these affirmations but it's hard to remember without seeing the book or without reading the book or without discussing among ourselves so this this is great opportunity for all of us to talk about these affirmations i'll go to couple of affirmations uh, which we have time constraint here all is well everything is working out for my highest good out of this situation only good will come i am safe i love myself i am perfectly healthy i live in a loving abundant harmonious universe and i am grateful everything i touch is a success new doors are opening all the time give selfless service to our communities i am beautiful in mind and body i am very grateful to the group i am very grateful to my parents and grandparents i am very grateful to subhash patri ji to introducing this anapana sati um thank you all thank you sandhya thank you sandhya thank you sandhya Lakshmi, do you want to go next? Sure, Madhavi. I think I since we are there are both, two Lakshmis, it is me, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone, uh, and also good morning to those who are in India. There My is name is Lakshmi. That is coming, Lakshmi, from you. I think I it's. I'm sorry. Let me just. is it coming from my is it okay now yes okay 
Okay, uh, I'll start over again. Hello, everyone. Uh, you all know my name is Lakshmi Dugirala from Colorado Springs. And good evening to everyone in US uh, on the Mountain Standard Time Zone and good morning to everyone in India. I am part of the Colorado Springs group and I know Sandhya, Sita and Harita personally. And uh, I'm thankful to have met our uh, remaining you, uh, the Denver group and everyone else through these meditation. And I'm grateful to Madhavi. There are two Madhavis actually. The first Madhavi is Madhavi Bandredi who introduced me to the meditation exactly a year ago on the day of Sivaratri at Madhavi Makam's house. <laughs> so I'm grateful to have met her and started my spiritual journey. So I'm just taking baby steps right now. So it's been, I would say one year. And to be honest, uh, I started meditation regularly from December 10th onwards. Thankful to the Colorado Meditators group and Madhavi's initiative of having a session every night. Um, so it, it is a wonderful journey and I'm looking forward to great spiritual experiences and uh, mental peace and calmness through this meditation. So the um, affirmations that I really liked, I, I have a few that I, I try to um, tell myself whenever I'm facing any a challenge or a situation. My favorite one is I approve of myself. And uh, the next one that I can I like is I am adequate to handle all life situations. That is my second favorite one. And the one that I'm trying on right now is saying that I'm willing to I'm willing to change and see where and how I have to change. So change is a big thing for me. So I'm trying to focus my energies on the change. And I keep reminding myself that everybody is doing the best they can, including me. And I keep repeating to myself saying that my potential is unlimited. And also saying that I trust my inner wisdom to guide me wherever I go. And I'm divinely protected and safely guided by the divine nature. And the last one that I, I really like to focus on is good health is mine now. And I release the past. So these are a few of the meditation, I mean, few of the affirmations from Louis Hayes affirmations book that we have been practicing. And I'm trying my best to repeat them at least, you know, a few times every day or whenever a situation that comes where I think I need them. And it has been, I would say for me, my mindset has changed. Just like, you know, how they say it's all in the mind. They say the biggest asset or the biggest deficit is your mind. Your mind clears a lot of obstacles or your mind creates the obstacles. So that is a mindset. And I have seen that the meditation is helping me to be more open-minded, to be more receptive, and also to be more um, cognizant of my um, mental wellness and also to think of others too at the same time. So I'm very grateful for Louis Hay to write this book in 1970s. And then <laughs> Madhavi and everyone else who introduced me to this book. And I'm happy to share that. I've shared this book with uh, quite a few of my friends and you know my cousins. Because this is something that I'm experiencing and I'm enjoying the experience of reading this book. So I just want to share it because I always believe in knowledge has to be shared. So I'm very grateful for that session and all of you who keep me accountable of, you know, because we log in <laughs> and we do the meditation together. So it's, it's a wonderful experience and I'm thankful for, for that. So I think the time is 613. So I just want to say like, you know, I just want to do just one line, something about Guru. Guru is... You can think, uh, just like how Sandhya says, you know, Prati is your guru or the gurus. This is one small bhajan that I like from Art of Living just for a minute. It's like, Ajo Anantaya Nityaya Shuddhaya Sachidananda Nanda Guru Guru Om Guru Om Guru Om Guru Om Guru Om Guru 
Thank you, Madhavi. Thank you, Lakshmi. Vani, do you want to go next, Vani? Oh, yes, Madhavi. Hello, all. Good evening. This is Vani. Madhavi introduced me to the meditation in 2019. We used to do full moon meditation at Hindu temple. Uh, Santi, me, Madhavi, Lakshmi, Talanki. Uh, we enjoyed a lot on those days before the pandemic. We are very fortunate. Madhavi moved to Colorado. She introduced me meditation. I am feeling lucky about that. Especially in this pandemic days, I am very stressed out. No socializing, nothing. I, we enjoyed a lot with the Padma Jakka, uh, Madam Lalita Sasranama sessions and other sessions. Madhavi guided me through the spiritual path. Actually, I am a spiritual person, but uh, I don't have the guidance. I got the good guidance from the Madhavi, I think. Every day we are doing meditation, night time, and the Sajjana Sangacham also. Uh, I like this book, Louis Hay. Um, actually, I am getting into the negative feelings a lot, very stressing. After reading this book, I am getting the positive feelings, positive affirmations also I am practicing every day. I got a huge benefit from this book, I think. I introduced this book to my kids also. They like this book also very much. Uh, I like the affirmations uh, for stress-free living. I let go all fear and doubt and life became simple and easy for me. I create a stress-free world for myself. I relax all my neck muscles and let go of any tension in my shoulders. I relax, slowly breathe in and out, and I find myself relaxing more and more each breath. I am centered and focused. I feel more secure each day. Thank you, Madhavi. Thank you, Vani. Thank you for your lovely words. And uh, now Radha is going to tell her recipe for smoothie, I believe. Namaste, Andy, uh, for everyone. Time doesn't matter where we are. We are on this earth. So it's, it's a time. Um, thank you, Madhavi, for including me in this group. Thank you, Ani. She was pushing me for a long time, and I was the one who was like, okay, Chestan Lendi, Chestan Lendi, Ani. And then, I'm sorry, I'm mixing both the languages, but I feel that way comfortable. And I was in the other group. We have a Balmukun group. We used to do from like January of 2020 uh, to like till then they discontinued because of the personal reasons. And then I started with this group. I really enjoy the part of the book reading also. I used to be an avid reader before like, you know, and from last couple of years, I've stopped absolutely not reading anything. But this kind of, you know, Retingle, like you know, to read again the books and like you know, enjoy, even though if I cannot read like 20, 15 or 20 pages, I'm started focusing on at least to read five to six pages. So, thank you again, and I have to thank you all the members of this group. So, I think we are supporting each other and encouraging each other, and you know, we are trying to connect and grow together. So I have written, most of them have heard this, but I'll read this again. Uh, I enjoyed the book and it was easy for me to remember the affirmation this way, in the fun way. So I wrote this. Louis A. Affirmation Milkshake Recipe or Sankalpam Amrita Rasam or Panchamrita, whatever we want to call. Self-esteem. Add one apple of self-esteem by full confidence in yourself. Confidence is needed for everyone. Letting go of the past. Add one banana by peeling the skin by saying, I'm letting it go. So that makes our lives easy and looking forward for the future and leave in a moment. Critical thinking. Add two scoops of critical thinking by seeing only a good in everyone. 
add healthy two tablespoons of jaggery by forgiving all bitter experiences. Stress-free leaving, add one cardamom to bring the flavor to the smoothie and kick the stress from your, our, our lives. Add one cup of almond milk by saying, I'm always healthy. Add one cup of pure water by saying, let's become pure like water. It counts on more on health. Fearful emotions. Add a pinch of salt to enhance to taste by saying to fearless emotions is much needed. Loving yourself. Add tons of love to yourself, to the others, so the world become a loving place and the peace. Love and intimacy. Put all these in a blunder to create a wonderful intimacy with like-minded people. Creativity. I guess you like my efforts of being creative or stupid. Aging. If, if you drink this every day, you become kid in your heart and beautiful. Friendship. Attract all and everyone wants to create a bond with you in the name of friendship. Money and prosperity. When you have all this above, money and prosperity follows you instead of you follow those. Addiction. Get addicted to this milkshake and this book and the meditation. Change. I never wanted to go back and accept, the, accept this change. Happy meditation with all the beautiful ladies and elevated souls. Signing off, Radha Mohan. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Radha, for your beautiful milkshake recipe. We will Thank all follow you. that. Yes. <laughs> Lakshmi, Avati, do you want to go? Next. Yeah. Um, hello, all. I am Lakshmi. Um, I have been doing meditation for last one year. Um, I feel very happy, active and energetic after meditation. During my meditation journey, I saw several changes in my physical, mental and emotional well-being that enhanced my life. Meditation can give a sense of calm, peace and balance that can benefit both my emotional well-being and oral health. I like this book a lot. I would like to share with you all. Um, these are my favorite affirmations. I am practicing. They are working very well. Um, I approve of myself. I am wonderful and I feel great. I am grateful for my life. I am safe in the world. I am comfortable with change and growth. Love and acceptance are mine. I love myself. My life is a success. Um, I am taking responsibility. I am aware that there is something I can do to change. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. I am willing to re release all patterns of criticism. I am safe with all my all of my emotions. I release all struggle now and I am at peace. I take responsibility for my own life. I am free. This is a new moment. I am free to let go. I am grateful for my perfect health. I balance my life between work, rest and play. They all get equal time. I am worthy of my own love. I trust my inner wisdom to guide me. All my relationships are harmonious. I am my own unique self, special, creative and wonderful. New doors are opening all the time. I have the power, strength and knowledge to handle everything in my life. I am at peace. I release all age-related fears. I create a stress-free world for myself. This is my favorite affirmations. I am 
practicing that's so much nice um yeah thanks for all masters who shared their spiritual knowledge and thanks for giving me this opportunity thank you all thank you madhvigar thank you lakshmi asita do you want to go next andi sure madhvi good evening everyone this is sita kella uh, i have been meditating like you know for the past i meditated a lot before but um every now when then in like you know in times and then sometimes giving breaks but over the last few months i started meditating regularly thanks to madhvi actually it is a sandhya garu like when we met one time for like in in the temple that uh, told me about the madhvi's meditation group that's how i got in touch with them and that i should th- i can't thank enough both of them for like you know whatever i'm going through now because this is the like you know biggest positive change that i have experienced so i really feel blessed to be a part of this group and the biggest change i should admit like you know after i started meditating is like i see general benefit in every aspect like you know i'm more calm peaceful and feel good about myself but the biggest change i saw is that i i understand myself much better now earlier like i know i used to take cover under the about the situation like you know see i am i am reacting this way because the situation is bad it because the, the situation is like so tense it it's not about me it's what the situation demanded now i am willing to acknowledge it's me i am reacting in a pattern i am willing to acknowledge my feelings and i am ready to work on that i can accept myself gracefully and then willing to work on them that is the biggest change that i found like you know uh, after starting meditating uh, so which which is nice like and i should say that it's both because of meditating and that whatever we went through like you know reading the self affirmations sometimes i was not able to but i went through everything like you know and then i see the beauty of like you know how much these affirmations can have an impact on life actually like you know looking at it it's really very tough to pick which affirmations to really work on because everything attacks like in each of them aspects i mean um, addresses one an, an important aspect of life um however like you know based on like you know who i am and what i need the most i started working on a few of them on a regular basis like you know i think i'll probably change as life and circumstances throw at me like you know when i could become good at things i will keep on changing them but for now the ones that i i picked are like you know the first one is stress stress free living like i'm more centered and focused i feel like more secure every day because given like you know who i am i think i have a view of like you know reacting stressfully to the situations so i think that that i felt like you know is when i say these like and you know, i feel more secure every day i feel more secure every day i can see that when situations like present themselves i am able to like you know feel really a difference in how i react i sometimes go back to my being the older way but then immediately the, the i mean the person within me tells like you know see you are going this way it's it's time to change so i i feel really good about it and the second one is the addictions i can see my patterns and then i can acknowledge them and then i am willing to work work on them without any embarrassment or guilt so when i feel like you know so the stressful like you know i would say in in a way that is my addiction so when i now look, look at it like you know i feel guilt like you know i feel this way so instead these affirmations help me to accept myself like you know and then feel, be willing to work on them and the third one is the health i return my myself to good optimal health and by giving the my body whatever it needs at every level so at every level i felt is like very important because what we generally try to do is address it the medically but health is, it depends a lot on our emotional well being and then what we just do by medicating is just using a palliative then it crops up as some some other problem 
so at every level like you know i try to address it so these are the ones that i'm worried and and the fourth one is the change so the change like you know by i just like i said before like you know i think like you know i am i resist to change and then when i resist a change i think it's because the, the, the type of the change is that's coming my way like you know i am reacting this way it's, it's not me but now i am willing to accept and willing to positively look for a change that is going to come in my life so all these have made like you know my life the quality of my life better um i i am in the process of working on them but i can see that i am getting better every every day and i cannot thank this group enough uh for like you know and then and madhavi for pushing us to join every day you know that's now now i felt like you know suddenly yesterday i was thinking can I, at any point in time can i like you know stop this group? no like right you know, i i can forgo <laughs> anything else but not meditating and being with this group thank thank you all thank you sita thank you it is it is group effort that we are all working on i mean it is really amazing like how our group has grown so closely and uh, connected fortunate to be in this group uh, vaishali do you want to go next yeah sure uh, good evening everyone i want to thank for introducing me to this group uh, shanti madhi and then feels really good to uh, get acquainted with these beautiful souls and uh, being in continuous with doing the meditation i am like in the very starting phase of meditation i started approximately 2 months ago so not lo- not only louis hay's books in general the kind of effect it has on me is that right now i started thinking more positive in simplest of the thing earlier i think thinking negatively whether the big situation or day to day life was very easy never even thought about it that we are thinking naturally on a negative side that now i feel surprised like how used to it we are just think negative and that i'm i'm really happy about it that at least it it started to know that okay this is not the way and how i have done that pretty much my whole life that way it never affected me bad way in a realistic situation but it affected my uh, mental health mm-hmm. and now it 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 just feels good that at least i can tell myself this is not the way to do it's it's, it's a life learning uh, process it doesn't happen overnight uh, so i'm in a, taking baby steps but it's going in a right direction and that feels really well and doing it every day meditation that has helped tremendously i can't thank you madhavi and this beautiful group so just i can't pinpoint all the uh, louis hay group things it's because everything is really great what uh, they're talking about it so not consciously uh, making an effort to just go exact uh, affirmations but in one or other way just following it just think in a positive way or uh, if the uh, negative thought comes or if the situation comes just just stop it like cut that thought which is not good for us or the environment or all the people around uh, us or in life so that feels really great that i am on a right path and i will uh, there is no doubt i will continue this my whole life or i want to do that so that that really feels good sometimes i can't express it in a uh, thought but it gives little bit of peace of mind what we are so far in the whole life looking for it peace 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 like how do, how do you find the peace <laughs> like or where do you look for it so before starting this meditation i used to feel like i should go in some mountain or somewhere like which is secluded like nobody is there around us and then maybe i'll find a peace but that's the i i couldn't be wrong in that like you can't find a peace that way. so feel really happy and blessed that i am on a right direction or on a right path to learn these things so thank you everyone for helping me doing that and being in my journey with me that's all 
Thank you. Thank you, Vaishali. You got that right. I mean, the peace is uh, not anywhere. It is within us. You know, once when you look into yourself, then you know like how much peaceful you can be. Most of the time, what we do is we look outside for the outside people to approve us, for the outside people to make us feel happy and all those things. But that is, that is not at all true. It is the peace and happiness and blissfulness is within us, how we think and how we approach the life. Yeah. So all of us think that we want peace, happiness, bliss, and we are we are lucky bunch that we are in US and then prosperity and all those things, which worldly materialistic things, pretty much all of us has it in abundance. But still, we were not, at least I'm talking about myself, I was not happy in my mind. Mm -hmm. And just looking like a crazy, like, where do I find that? And at the end, we are looking like we have to look that everything is within us. And then we have to look only there and not yes. try to change anyone whatsoever, not even tiniest bit thing, whether it's a kid, spouse, relatives, or uh, friends, or anyone. The only person needs to be changed is only us. That is so, so true. Least, so just getting that realization, it's like blissful enough. That what we need to do, at least we know it. If we don't know the disease, how are we going to cure it? So now at least we need to know like where to look for it and what to do. And now the process starts. There you go. You found your right path. <laughs> <laughs> I know it took us so many years, but it's never too late. <laughs> Believe it or not, just two months ago, months ago, I literally felt like going somewhere, like just where there, nobody's there. And I'm me and myself. That's all. But that wouldn't have got us anywhere. How wrong I was. No. Aisha, you, you thought it. You want to be all by yourself. The breath is inside. The breath is our guru. You got it. You thought it. And you got it. That is a miraculous thinking. We all need to have positive thinking. If not, miraculous thinking. You have miraculous thinking. You got it. You got this group, whoever it is, join this Madhavi's group and uh, we are all blessed to have in this group. Uh, several times I was uh, pointing out when we were doing affirmations, most of us speaking same things without knowing each other. So we are all having common thinking. No wonder we are all doing like 10 or 12 people, same day, uh, same affirmations every day and meeting and doing that. So it's all like, we, maybe we are all thinking the same way, Vaishali. Uh, we want something, peace, where can we find? The peace is inside. The breath is inside. The breath is our Guru. That's true. Two months ago, if somebody would have told me that I have to look within me, I would have <laughs> laughed and just moved over somewhere. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> Believe it or not, that... Uh, uh, Brahma Kumari's thing, I used to feel like I want to go to India. They're, they have the Mount Abu, uh, their main uh, location. I just want to go there and then just spend some time. Maybe that will give me a, some uh, direction or something. And now I'm at peaceful at my home, even sitting at nine o'clock with all of us doing meditation. I'm at peace. And now I don't feel like I need to go somewhere and look for something. I just know that I need to work on myself. So that is good enough for me. Mm -hmm. Hello, Masters. My name is Tejasvi. I'm living in Fort Collins. I was introduced to Pilmar meditation when I was a kid, but I started meditation regularly after coming to US a few years, a few years ago. And I got into Denver meditation through Madhavi Garu. I'm very thankful for that. And I participated in the 21 days formation by Louise Sadhya, a Sadhya book. Uh, what I personally uh, learned is self-love. Before the sadhyaya, um, before the sadhya, what uh, my affirmations are purely materialistic. But after the sadhyaya, my affirmations are spiritual. So uh, I, I mean, uh, each change ne no tells ko na I'm very happy to participate. That's it. Thank you. Yes, sir. This is from. Dr. Patrizi, not from me. Probably Madhvi, you heard hundreds of times. Uh, but uh, I really like, I really like, I want to introduce that to our group also. APM, any place meditation. 
that's what i do believe me yesterday i was not there at 9 o'clock meditation i did somewhere any place meditation atm any time meditation hey i get up early in the morning if it is 5 o'clock that's fine if it is 4 o'clock that's fine i just do my meditation so as any space meditation do i need to choose is it my bed is it my chair am i sitting on the floor no my mind i want to clear my mind mind it is 10 minutes this morning i didn't even know i started at 6 o'clock 6:20 then i don't know my alarm did not go or i did not put the alarm i was doing until 8 o'clock hey i said i want to tell this to madhavi it's amazing right one and a half hours i did not know the time so it's like apm atm and asm these three things uh, whenever you feel like wherever you feel like whatever it is the time please do the meditation also when you sleep you get the cosmic energy one hour meditation is equal to 3 hours of cosmic energy if you sit for one hour it's going to be 3 hours of cosmic energy in the sleep you get cosmic energy for one hour equal to one hour but still there are some dreams and things like that but if you are sitting in meditation properly whatever we are doing every day like whatever madhavi is guiding us whoever is guiding so same way if we do we get 3 hours of cosmic energy that's why people sit whole night because they don't feel tired they feel energetic so thank you all we all meet in the temples the sri temple as well as sai baba temple i met every single person i don't know divya she is not from this town but rest of the team i have met uh, everybody in the temple uh, one of the my affirmation is <clears throat> give selfless service to our communities yep yeah, absolutely we are all doing that not only through the meditation uh, serving in the temple or want volunteering in the temple and things like that i'm very grateful for this group yes lakshmi digirala sita harita madhavi and vani recently i came to know that she works at the temple i i think radha garu and uh, sri devi also i have seen in the temple so we are all doing selfless service to our communities it's a great opportunity i'm very grateful to this wonderful group of course to madhavis and uh, i'm very grateful to sai baba temple that pyramid inauguration and having pyramid over there thank you thank you madhavi and thank you group thank you sandhya actually uh, one more thing one more scientific thing that i want to share with you guys today i heard from uh, uh, one of the class uh, the sir was telling usually when there is surgery or when there is anything that is anesthetic that goes into your body uh after the surgery they give you anesthesia so that way you can go to sleep the reason why they do it is because in sleep you get the cosmic energy and you can heal faster yes so that is the reason that they put you into the sleep mode so that way you can recover and heal faster so when i heard that after coming into meditation like you know i felt like that is so much true because you know like when you're tired or when you are like feeling so tired the whole day you take a sleep you take a nap or you sleep and then the next day morning you're so refreshed you know like if you think of those i mean like with the meditation spiritual knowledge and the scientific knowledge that they were using i felt that is so interesting i mean this is something that we know but we didn't go deep into that uh, uh, way of thinking you know like i felt that was wow <laughs> you know the doctors also know that you know like when you go to sleep then you can get the cosmic energy and then you can heal faster so you are full of energy and the best way that you can get energy is through sleeping that we all do and then through meditation and then very little bit of uh, uh, food that you take i mean it is it is something that you know like if you just dig deep into yourself then you will know without food you can survive for uh, days together but if you can take one 
I mean, if you can't sleep in the night, obviously, if you are not a meditator, but I'm just saying, if you can't sleep in the night, you are like exhausted. So, you know, it, it's just that like you, you, you'll start thinking in that process of like how good the meditation is because you're in this path. And then once when you know these small little things that we were ignoring and then you start observing each and every aspect and then you will know how important meditation is. So thank you all for today. I mean, it's been a bliss, uh, blissful and then uh, eventful <laughs> uh, session that we had.